So now in this video, we're going to switch a load with a PNP bipolar junction transistor. And uh, this is normally uh, somewhat awkward because we need to give it a low signal uh, relatively close to uh, ground to uh, turn it on and then to hold it off a uh, more positive, basically the uh, positive supply. And uh, so this circuit eliminates that. With uh, this one, we can turn the uh, PMP bipolar junction transistor on by switching on the uh, positive side. And uh, of course, we need an NPN bipolar junction transistor to do that to help uh, pull the uh, base to ground. And then you can see we got a current path there and a small amount of current there will allow a larger current uh, through the transistor. And uh, since it's either on or off, it's a switch. So in any case, that's uh, the circuit schematic right there. We'll zoom in and do a uh, build. So to begin with, I'm gonna use a 2N3906, the PNP bipolar junction transistor I've been using in this video. So we're looking at the uh, flat side right now, even though it's kind of hard to tell on the camera. And then you can see left emitter, middle is base, and then right is collector. So the arrow is the emitter. If I swivel it this way, now it lines up with how we see uh, the schematic and I have the uh, positive supply right there. So I'm gonna put the emitter up there. Now, the uh, collector, we have our load. And uh, so we're gonna protect an LED with a resistor. We're gonna work with five volts. So this is a 220 ohm resistor. And uh, put that from the uh, collector to one spot above the uh, negative rail right there. And it's one spot because we're going to take an LED. Long lead the anode, that side of the LED. Uh, schematic there, short lead the cathode is on that side. And so long lead the anode is going to the resistor. And right now, you can see that uh, once this goes in there, that uh, the LED is off because right now the transistor is off. So we're going to make sure and hold it off. And so we're going to use a pull up resistor. So I'm going to grab a 1 kilo ohm resistor, and you're going to see actually that uh, when I touch it, you can see the LED turned on a little bit, but not once I go to the positive rail. So that was a false signal we were given it until I got it into the positive rail because the power supply is on. And uh, so that's the uh, middle pin, by the way. And uh, so once we got it to the positive rail, that holds it off until we have a strong signal. So that's this resistor up here. So even though it's on the left on the schematic, it's on the right in the uh, actual circuit. They don't have to line up uh, perfectly. You just draw it the way it draws nicely and you build it the way that it builds nicely. So now we need an NPN bipolar junction transistor switch. We're going to put it on this side of the board. So again, 2N3904. So it's the NPN version of the 2N3906. And a very common transistor. Again, left pin is the emitter, middle pin is the base, right pin is collector. Pin layout is the same, it's just the chemistries that are opposite. So emitter there, if I swivel it this way, now the emitter's on the bottom, like you see on the uh, schematic there. And that's going to go to the uh, negative side of the supply because it's also being wired as a switch. So the emitter is going to that uh, gray jumper. Hopefully you can see that right there. So, that resistor is going from the base of the PNP bipolar junction transistor to the collector of the NPN bipolar junction transistor. I'm gonna use a one kilo ohm again, and a higher value should work. Okay, but I already have that one kilo ohm on the board. So, I'll just use another one right there because we just need a small amount of base current from the PNP bipolar junction transistor to uh, turn it on and saturate it. Now we have a mechanical switch up here and you can see that uh, the top of the switch goes to the positive rail and the uh, bottom part of the switch goes to a resistor. We're gonna use a 10 kilo ohm resistor, a uh, high value resistor because we need very little current again and uh, put that to the uh, base from the uh, 
switch to the base of the NPN bipolar junction transistor. Just jump in the gap there and again I can give a false signal. So right now the switch is open it's there's air in between the uh, contacts and I can give a false signal again. But there you can see how the circuit's going to work. We give a high signal now and our PNP bipolar junction transistor is on and uh, normally you need to give it a low signal which is uh, really odd and to uh, keep it from uh, getting stray signals and accidentally turning on you have to hold it high which again is a bit odd to hold it to the supply voltage but it works uh, pretty nicely in this circuit because we're used to a high signal coming in will turn something on like that. So, in any case, you'll see circuitry like this uh, quite a bit when you study transistor circuits more and hopefully it helps you uh, visualize what's going on. You can see here that uh, that's the positive side of the supply, the arrow's pointing that way. When we get a direct connection to uh, ground, well even through the resistor, a small amount of current allows a lot more current to flow through the uh, transistor and it will be enough to uh, saturate it as long as this resistor is not too high. So hope that makes uh, uh, makes sense. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell. It would really help a lot if you donate to Patreon. So I'll uh, put that link up here too. I will see you in the next video.